Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. Just yesterday, I took up a six star to rank four. It was my 13th, and we're about to take up another six star champion. I love ranking up champions, and I'm actually pretty excited about this one. So if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave a comment below. Let me know what your guess is. Don't forget to watch my previous videos or these mystery rank ups can be spoiled. If you don't watch some of my crystal openings, you may find that I'm ranking up a champion that I got in the previous opening that you did not see. So we're about to reveal it, giving you time. Five, four, three, two, one. Scorpion. So honestly, I have heard so much about Scorpion, and I just recently got him. That's why I was warning you guys, if you have not watched my Crystal Openings, you would have missed it because I just recently uh, pulled Scorpion. He was the last champion on my most wanted list. And I think I'm going to make a new list that is just pretty much a wanted list champs that I want that are not like, you know, most, most wanted. I got to have them, but still would love to get them. Now about Scorpion, I read a little bit about him. I saw some things, but unlike the champion that I ranked up yesterday, I haven't really used this one. The one before I at least took him up to um, rank five during the Eternity of Pain. So my five star to rank five, I used in Eternity of Pain against someone. I won't even say it because I don't want to spoil it. But with this champion, even the five star, uh, I have not used. I think, uh, you know, maybe in, in Arena, but other than that, no, I have not used him. So... We're going to use him pretty much for the first time together. Definitely haven't used him outside of Arena. And I think it was just the four star that I ended up using. So I read a little bit about him. And uh, he has uh, immunities, uh, shock and rupture. And you can select his immunities. That's uh, part of his pre-fights. I've never done it, of course, because like I said, I've not used him outside of the Arena. But that was interesting. Um, I like that selectable uh, immunity. But something else that I really liked, he puts on power stings as well as uh, the poisons. So I'm like, okay, with the despair mastery, he's going to really be good against healers. And we're going to try him against Wolverine in Realm of Legends. I want to see how that works. So we can poison, which does its own damage. Um, he's got power stings. And I read something else that looked really, really interesting. And that was if he has, I think, a petrify on his opponent, so he can also petrify. If he has a petrify on them and they try to heal, he gets healed instead. That's awesome. That is really awesome. So... I'm very much looking forward to using this guy. Uh, he may actually end up being one of my favorite uh, champions. And given the meta right now in uh, Battlegrounds, I don't know if he's that good in the current meta. But that's okay. He is a good defender. And he's a good attacker. So no matter what I end up doing with him, I'm going to like him. I'm going to like him. I already know I'm going to like him. I've watched videos. I've looked. Now, I don't know uh, any particular rotations to use for him or anything like that. But he seems to be really, really good. I've seen some people actually take him to rank four. So I know he's a rank four option. And even though I've only used the four star... When I did use the four star, it was fun. 
He seemed pretty easy to use, you know? And when I'm fighting against him, oh my goodness, he was annoying. I remember uh, fighting him and all of a sudden he evaded and smacked me with his tail, gave me a good sting. And I was like, what the, what just happened? You know, cause I didn't know anything about him. And so that caught me by complete surprise. And it happened more than once. Uh, during the Eternity of Pain, he was one of the bosses. And we know that in the finale, you know, final uh, phase, he's going to be there. And I saw that a lot of people were using Scorpion against that Scorpion. And, of course, I didn't have a six-star version, and my five-star wasn't ranked up, so I had to use someone else. But now I can use my own Scorpion. So very, very uh, interesting. Uh, I think his default immunity is shock. I think it is. Um, like I said, I still have a lot to uh, learn about him. But he seems really cool and very, very powerful. You know, putting the power stings on, I don't know how he compares to, like, um, uh, Spider-Ham. But I like Spider-Ham a lot. And so this guy, it's like he's offensive and defensive at the same time. Because he's fighting. He's putting power stings on you. So if you end up using your special, you're going to take damage. And he's still doing damage to you. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And eventually, I will most likely take him to rank four. I don't know when that's going to be, but he's definitely rank four bound. Now, um, if you watched one of my uh, openings, I seem to be the Cosmic Whisperer. I keep getting Cosmic Resources. I've taken up a lot of cosmics. I have not taken up too many science. The last one I took up was Titania. And I like her. This might be another science that I could take up. Um, Spider-Man 2099 is still there. However, in the places that I plan to use Spider-Man 2099, Titania kind of fills that role. But I don't have anyone that exactly fills the role of this Scorpion. So probably he will be my next uh, rank four science champion. But I do have other champions that I want to take up to rank four as well. Plenty of options. Sometimes I will just allow the crystal to decide what class... I'm going to go with um, now. I also don't know um, about his uh, awakening, but we actually have a science awakening gem. So he's going to get awakened as soon as there is a science advancement on. I will use that gem on him and I'll dump whatever six stones I have into him. Uh, I looked at the uh, uh, signature ability, and it looks like one that I would like to have for him. Okay, so I don't know whether he falls into the category of must be awakened. But since I do have a science awakening gem, and I'm not talking about a, a generic on him, then I might as well go ahead and use it on him. All right, so... Um, let's head into Realm of Legends, and we're going to actually fight Wolverine. So I'm going to bring in some other champions just to make it through to Wolverine as fast as I can, and then we will fight Wolverine with Scorpion. All right, so see you there. Okay, so I've gotten to Wolverine. I have not used Scorpion yet. I used um, Hercules and Nick Fury to get to this point. And I do have some of the synergies, but there is something that I wanted to mention first. Uh, when I was talking about 
the fact that he would get some health back, that's his signature ability. If you look at the second bullet point there, uh, if the opponent is inflicted with Petrify and they attempt to heal, Scorpion gains um, a percentage of the health denied from them. Okay, so it said each tick of this healing cannot exceed 68.35 health. So I'm very curious. We'll have to come back in here when I awaken him and see how that works. Okay, now look at the uh, synergies that I have active down here. Okay, problems with cartoons. I got Spider-Ham, who I love. 25% chance to inflict sting debuffs on light attacks. That's good. The more debuffs I have, the less healing uh, this Wolverine is going to do because of the uh, despair mastery that I have. And here, dressed for a funeral. Gain a fury passive, so that's more damage, for each sting debuff on the opponent, increasing attack rating by 10%. More damage. Okay? And I think, yeah, that was it. All right, so let's get in here and see what we can do. Let me go here, and let me look, because I hadn't looked at his um, pre-fights before. So stings inflict a shock debuff, dealing energy damage, gain poison and rupture immunities. And then the rupture sting inflicts a rupture debuff, dealing physical damage, gain poison and shock immunities. This priority takes, uh, this takes priority over the shot. Hmm. All right. So I don't know if any one of them is is more useful because uh, Wolverine doesn't do poison or rupture or shock. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But I do want to inflict something. So either a rupture. Or shock. I guess either one does more damage. So let's go with the uh, shock one this time. If I can remember the next time we go in, we'll try the um, rupture. All right, let's see what it looked like. Okay, there you go. Shock right off the bat. Woo! All right. Wow, five shocks. And look, he is still healing, though. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. He does not want to fire that special. There we go. Okay, let's hit him with this. Maybe keep him to a... Special one? Okay. Here we go. Alright, come on. There we go. Woo! He got Petrify on him. Mm. That hurt. Wow. Okay. He did quite well. And that was me. Amateur hour. I've never used him before. We didn't even get a chance to, to do the uh, special three. But wow. That was impressive. I'm going to like him. I am definitely going to like him. I like him already. I'm going to like him the more I use him. I already see that. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. A short fight. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this showcase of uh, Scorpion against Wolverine. And you all have a blessed day.